Hey there, tech fans. Today I'll tell you five things that you need to know about the DJI Air 3 drone. Now, I've been flying this drone ever since it was released about a year ago. I spent a lot of time up in the air with the drone, flying over all kinds of different areas, lakes and forests and other places. So I've got a lot of experience flying the drone. And I want to explain five things that'll help you better understand how good this drone is compared to others. And those are things you can use to decide if this is the right drone for you. For starters, it's a mid-sized drone. It's not a mini drone, and it's not a big commercial drone. It fits in that Goldilocks zone somewhere in the middle. And the one concern most pilots have when they're looking at a drone is how long can it stay up in the air on a fully charged battery? Well, DJI's been working very diligently over the years, improving the way the drone uses the power, and more importantly, improving the way the battery delivers that power to the drone. So the batteries that are used with this drone are intelligent flight batteries. There's a controller inside here that talks to the drone. It's constantly monitoring the drain of the battery and how it's being used, and it really can stretch your flight times to really extended limits. This drone on a fully charged battery can fly up to 46 minutes, which is incredible when you compare it to other drones of the same size, which typically have flight times of 25 minutes or less. So 46 minutes is almost double the flight time of competing drones in the market. And they, again, DJI can do that because they've improved the batteries, they've improved the circuitry inside the drones. Now, of course, it's going to depend on how you're flying, if you're doing a lot of tricks, if you have a lot of features turned on. But when you think about being up in the air for 45 minutes, that's plenty of time to get out over an area, make sure your framing is right, capture a lot of good pictures, take a ton of video, and still get back and have plenty of time to land safely. The next big concern with most flyers is how far the drone can fly. Now, in the United States, we have a visual line of sight limitation, which means you have to keep the drone in your line of sight when you're flying. But knowing you've got a strong enough signal to take you very far means when you're in close in that visual line of sight range, you won't have any worries about the drone breaking connection with the controller and flying off towards the horizon. Well, DJI, again, is using a proprietary technology in the Air 3 called OcuSync 4. It's the fourth generation of their technology, and that guarantees a rock-solid connection between the drone and the controller up to 20 kilometers. Now, again, you can't fly that far, but knowing I could fly that far means the signal strength is so powerful that when it's in close, I won't have to worry about breaking that connection when I dip behind some trees or behind a building for a couple of seconds, and I'll always have that peace of mind knowing the drone is going to be connected to the controller and I'm still in full control of that drone. Another thing a lot of people want to know about a drone is the camera quality. And again, the reason you're buying a camera drone is because you want to capture some really nice pictures and some amazing video. And what DJI did with the Air 3 is really unique. They've got two lenses up front, two actual sensors up front. Both of them are 1 over 1.3 inch sensors, but they've got a telephoto and a wide angle. So it gives you the best of both worlds. You can actually use the wide angle to capture a beautiful landscape when you're flying over a lake or a forest. And you can use the telephoto to pull in on a subject. So if you're flying near a stand of trees, maybe there's a deer and you don't want to get too close to scare the deer. So the telephoto allows you to pull in tight and have a beautiful shot of that deer from quite a distance away. So you've got, again, two lenses on the front which every photographer out there is going to appreciate the fact that you're really flying two cameras at the same time. Another difference that this drone provides over other drones is the safety features. So there's a built-in return to home functionality where if the drone senses any kind of issues, compass is off, GPS is off, whatever it happens to be, the drone takes control, elevates to a height you've set in the application, flies back to where you took off and just lands. It also has the ability to check for obstacles. So when you're flying through a very complex environment, the drone can see things like trees and branches and walls and other things you might hit in the air. And if you get close to something, it's going to start beeping, letting you know you're heading for an obstacle. But if you continue to fly towards that obstacle, the drone takes over and backs away from that obstacle. So it's an incredibly safe drone, and it has that ability 360 degrees around the drone. So it's like having a, a digital bubble around the drone that's constantly looking for dangers when you're up in the air and keeps you safe. But one other really interesting feature that DJI built into the Air 3, which again is proprietary, is something they call an APAS system, which is Advanced Pilot Assistance System. And that's even more intelligent, where the drone looks ahead of it and to either side of it and behind it and above it and below it, 360 degrees. And it's not only looking for solid objects it has to avoid, but it's looking for holes that it can fit through. So it knows how big it is and it can gauge the size of a hole. So if you start flying through a complex environment, unlike other drones that just stop when they see something or pull back from something, this drone will auto-navigate between those different obstacles out there in the woods. So you can fly this full speed through a stand of trees. It's going to know where the trees are. It's going to dodge them and find the holes to keep flying. So it's an absolutely incredible feature.
The last thing I want to mention are the autonomous features that this drone provides because drones are easy to fly nowadays, especially the DJI brands, because when you put the DJI drones up, they're going to stay right where you left them. Take your fingers off the joystick. It's not going to drift like other drones. But the automated features are important because learning how to fly well takes a little bit of time. So if you're trying to circle an object like this and keep this as your center point of focus, it can be tricky to learn how to use the joysticks to keep focused on this while you're circling the object. What DJI did was built in six different, what they call quick shot modes, where at the tap of a screen, you can have the drone focus on an object and spin around that object in the air, keeping that object in center focus. So it gives you that perfect circular shot around an object. There are others that'll actually fly away from you and elevate as it does, revealing the landscape behind you. There's one that'll loop down alongside of you and fly away from you. There's a follow mode as well, where you can focus in on you on a bicycle or walking or in a car and have the drone follow you all the while Obstacle avoidance is enabled, A-pass is enabled. So again, it's an incredibly sophisticated drone that provides a lot of features that you won't normally find in a drone of this size. And those five things, I think, really separate it from a lot of other drones on the market that you may be considering. So hopefully you found this review helpful. Thanks for watching.